What's your uh, longest outstanding invoice right now? Wow. Yeah, we're passionate, a little bit like you, like about maximizing every second of the day. What's the percentage of your business's new construction? I gotta find the right words because I don't speak English very well. So the homeowner understands that I'll do anything for this guy's roof to be perfect. Today we're in beautiful Myrtle Beach, South Carolina, visiting no one else but Monarch Roofing. Martin, attention to detail guys here, this is crazy. I, I want my camera guy point right away. Look at this sign. This is what I'm dealing with all day here. They, they gave me white cloths for breakfast. Uh, they put Russian yard signs, which says welcome on their building. And just, just crazy, crazy company, Martin. What's up with the, all this attention to details? Is it you or you have someone working for you who uh, pays attention to this? Well, first of all, <laughs> it's a pleasure to have you here, man. I'm so blessed to, to, that you accepted to, to come out and, and reach out to us. Hopefully the Russian is proper. I don't speak Russian, so any mistakes on that is no, good? No, they, they did good. They, they did good, did okay. Good. <laughs> well, it definitely takes a team for, for, to, to make this happen. And I've been watching a lot of your videos. So I knew that White Claw was your favorite and I can't believe you didn't drink the whole 12 pack. I was a little disappointed this morning. <laughs> I didn't no. drink any for the record. I Zero. didn't drink any. But I want, I want to show you guys something here. Check this out. This, this is the car that picked us up from the airport. Look at this. All right, so we have three locations, Dimitri. So I get to go to Hilton Inn. Last year was like every week I was going back and forth from Hilton Inn to Myrtle Beach. I was spending four hours in my car, going in my truck, going down and coming back. So Sunday night and coming back a lot of times Friday night. So it's eight hours a week. Wow. And we're passionate, a little bit like you, like about maximizing every second of the day. And then I'm wasting four, eight hours, which the first year was fun because I have listened to so many audible books, so many great books that changed There's always so much you can listen. But after a while, yes, and when you listen to like, you can this is a great book but you cannot implement everything they're saying right so it's only one two ideas and then they'll take you two three months to do it so even if you watch more books it's just more more movement so uh, we decided to uh, buy a car a limo car that's really uh, comfortable in the it's, back I can it's very comfortable <laughs> it's awesome because once I'm in the car I can really focus on work there's no distractions usually after hours I don't sacrifice the seven to seven since someone has got to be in front of people. And, and this is Lincoln? Yes. So I want to address something with Lincoln right away. So what's going on here, Martin? Why, why this letter coming off <laughs> on a brand new happened. vehicle? <laughs> look, look, look how curved it is. Are you going to file a claim or are you going to be a sucker and drive like that? Because this is not your level, you know. Like, the back seat still looks brand new though, I no, promise I know, you. No, I know, but can you imagine, like, it's crazy. Yeah, I think I had to be, I, I didn't see, I didn't buy, it wasn't like this when I got it, but it started it was an internet for a few months under a tree, so I think the heat uh, got to, to it uh, at that point, but... Sure. Lincoln, you have to fix it. This is not acceptable. <laughs> All right, how many vehicles do you have here? I see a lot of box trucks, vans, trucks. Who drives trucks? Uh, so our sales guys drive a four-door. Most of them is F-150s. We got a little bit of uh, Chevrolets, but they're all four doors. Mm -hmm. uh, then the box truck, that's for marketing division. We have a couple box truck for repair crews for all the tools. The vans is hard, unless you have a high top, it's hard to fit them all inside of it. Mm -hmm. But we have over a hundred trucks um, and they all wrap monoproofing. That's probably, uh, we talk about branding. It's probably the best way to brand because mm -hmm. when we get to meet somebody, they seen to have seen us before so I mean it's impossible not to see even if you have one people will say I see your trucks everywhere but how many you have uh, over a hundred now over a hundred yeah. what's happening here we have a metal shop all metal roofing now we, we produce all our panels it's been probably a year and a half we started doing this um, I'm I love to control our environment so we have the trailers you saw we could use when we started was uh, dumb trailers right and you go in the driveway but then yeah if you call them like hey we're too busy to pick it up so he stays in the driveway for three days on motors are mad so we're like all right we got to control that let's get trailers and now the same thing happened with this is we were we had a great suppliers here but it'll take two three days to get a piece of drippage or a counter flash and it would do big hmm. jobs right so we wanted to control this and do be faster for our customers so we can control it better so we bought all the machines I'll show you in a second sure. and we start doing all the our panels um, not so much for the financial side but just for the production Control. side yeah it's so much faster there's a lot of metal roof in this area so um, absolutely it was it became a business within a business basically love it and this is just like your warehouse garage space just storage yep all the metal coils the two here and then we have per division so I think it's a commercial uh, new construction tear-off there's a lot of tools for commercial 
that we, we keep safe here. Um, How's your business sp split between the residential and commercial? It's probably 64, man, even 74 or 30 right now. Um, I tell you, the biggest growth is in commercial. There's no doubt. Artwork, you talk about our work for a graphic for our charts, but our work, he's the best in the company. We have a couple so you're of people. Doing designer? It. Yeah. Wow, uh, you design all of those little details? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It makes wow. us look yeah. really good on, on yeah. graphic design for sure. Oh, a lot of visual stuff and uh, some some animation stuff, social media. We're yeah. going to come and spend some more time with you, uh, you this afternoon if you're going to be around. Cool. That would be awesome. Yeah, awesome. that'd be great. Awesome. Miss Jean, sorry about you. Yes, and she's responsible for all the, the repairs, repair coordinator. So everything goes out high volume. She's on the phone all the time, all day causing. So how many repairs do you guys do per year? Like is it? Uh, it'll be in the hundreds or close to a thousand something. By are you talking about uh, repairs These... for warranty calls? Or are you talking about brand new? Most of it is uh, a new customer. So new it might be an HOA in the area or mm -hmm. a uh, property management company that has properties that they have a leaky roof and they just mm -hmm. want to have a repair. So we just do a lot of small repairs is what they are. So I see you have gutter helming. Yes. Uh, are you franchise owner of the gutter helmet? Um, not we're franchise, but we're distributor, yeah, for distributor. them in this area. All three locations, we got the, uh, I don't want to say the license, but we're the dealer for anybody who wants to buy it, they have to go through us to, to buy it. We sell to other roofing companies to not so much distribution, um, but. And, and we also, uh, what's handy for us is when we do a new roof, we take them off and then we reinstall them after the roof is completed. So that's yeah. another good reason for us doing this. Sure. So we have first hand on it and again. make sure it's being done right. You even have special sign of roof repairs in progress? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so you have one year time for roofing jobs and one for repairs? Wow. Yeah, we're trying to uh, encourage people to maybe do full roof inspections. So we'll go out and uh, evaluate their entire roof for them as well to look for things so to make it that they don't have future problems. Uh, so sometimes when we go out, we find that maybe somebody needs a new roof. And if we do that, then we turn that over to our tear off division to give them work. Uh, so we try to help each other when it comes to that for repairs or for new roofs. Okay. We try awesome. to be proactive. So this is the, the sales. Inside sales, the inside vision. sales. Thing, right? Yes, we got. Good morning. Hey. How are you? Yeah. <laughs> um, inside sales here, and then this is James' office. Uh, he's the tear off manager. What she does tear off manager do? Uh, well, he's a little bit the buffer for everything. So he'll do a little bit of production when there's some issues that a production manager, the field manager, cannot handle. He's going to go help. So you, do you do the same day as install, or do you do tear off before? Like why do you need the manager? Why 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 tear off separated well, from the okay? So he's in charge of uh, marketing, sales, uh, production, warranty department all together. So he oversees everybody. So I don't know if the tear off throws you off a little bit. Yeah, I'm sorry, yeah, yeah. but he's like a manager for a whole division. Got it. And it's roof removal and installation. The installations included. So it's not just removal. Got it. Is this I said tray cap right? So I mean. This change used to be the marketing office when I was the manager here, but now it's the trays, the uh, the sales manager. When inside sales, they take the calls and they schedule. So I have all the um, guys' schedules. And so every morning, the first thing I do is all the appointments that they have for that day, I send out a postcard. So not only do they get you know the video beforehand after the appointment confirmation, they get postcards, um, I usually send it, like I said, the same day. So that way, right after the appointment, hopefully the next day or two, then they get the postcard. I do the the paperwork. I fill out all the contracts. I make sure everything is correct. I put it in the system so that way it's access accessible to everybody. Um, if there's permits, you know, I, I deal with the permits. Um, I'm also a notary. So on the back end, if you need anything notarized for the insurance, I do that. Um, a lot of insurance file for recoverables, send out that information. Um, I register all, everybody's warranty. If it's roof for troops, I'm, I'm that person who does all the, the Very cool. paperwork. <laughs> Intense work, yeah. a lot of heavy load. Yeah, Busy, busy. I enjoy it. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> wow, it's good. Yeah. yeah, that was a big deal for us when we build the building to have a, a larger mm -hmm. conference room and it's always hard. So it's a bit like the car, like, how are you going to make sense financially of this? It doesn't really make any sense. The car doesn't make any sense, but what the production can get out of it, 
makes sense to me. But same exactly. thing with this. Like you can have a conference room that's big, and I wish it was bigger. In the next building, we're trying. We're buying a lot in Hilton End area, so we're gonna make it even bigger. So we can have like a classroom setting, which I'm gonna show you where our university is. A little bit different setup. Um, but it's so important. Every morning, 6.30, 7 o'clock, production's at 6.30, sales at 7, wow. at 30 minutes. Um, get everybody together to review. Review a lot of your videos too. Wow. Watch your videos, right, Delisha? Yeah, they are. And now, we yes. like yeah. <laughs> what, do you, what do you review? Tell me. Like, I've never heard that companies are reviewing my videos. We watch them like every, yeah, yeah, every a lot. A lot. Like yeah. there's a lot of good content online that you know uh, the sales managers are responsible to create content. A lot of videos are easy to watch. Yeah. Um, that it kind of helps set the mindset. Yeah. I think for the day. Yeah. Wow. We review the yeah. company watches roofing insights. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes like, you okay, kick. You have an accent, right? So I have an accent. I remember the first time I met homeowner. Like I had my car, my car, car. I parked around the corner, so I didn't see my car because I know I'm in shock. The, the guy in the truck, the truck in the truck, and that was yeah. me, right? So I park around the corner, and I'm like, I'm like praying, like I gotta find the right words because I don't speak English very well. So the homeowner understands that I'll do anything for this guy's roof to be perfect. I'm not leaving till he's hot. He's gotta understand that. So it's a little bit like what you're preaching. Like if I say it, they might not understand. I'm like, ah, you need to Dimitri. I find a video like, okay, it's the same message. Let's do that. Or you said a new message, a lot of awesome content that I never thought of for sure online, but that helps so much. <laughs> right, this is new construction division. They're the Tigers, so a little bit about uh, them. Best is standard, that's their, their motto. Best is um, standard. Yes, they're relentless. Really, it's blowing up, right? New construction, I think across the country, we hear this all the time. Shortage of So you're doing, what, what's the percentage of your business is new construction? Uh, new construction is about 25%. Oh, wow. Um, so you work with builders? 25%, and... yeah, about right. Yeah. Yeah. Good morning, China, how are you? How long have you been here, China? Uh, Seven years, yeah, be seven yeah. years this August. Which so what do you do, payables, receivables? Receivables. Receivables. Yeah. Uh -huh. What's your uh, longest outstanding invoice right now? Ooh, we got, um, uh, say about 130, 130 days out. Oh, that's nothing, it's yeah. four months. So yeah. what's your average? Uh, I would say maybe 60. 60? Yeah, 60 days. Is it insurance or retail? Uh, mostly re uh, mostly uh, retail. Retail? Yeah. Oh, why are people not paying? Because <laughs> uh, Martin sometimes it cuts us on deals. Yeah. <laughs> the roof I sell, they never pay. <laughs> 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 the only deals. Yeah, they, 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 uh, but um, it's just, um, I mean, with the, with the economy too, with everything that's going on, sometimes we fall, kind of fall behind. What's your process? If, uh, have you ever have jobs where you did not get paid and you have to take them to court or lend the house? Do you practice few that? Liens. Yep. Few liens. Yeah, we do. I mean, we have some some that are few liens. Um, I think uh, we just had one several months ago where uh, the customer was uh, we put a roof and everything, and he was trying to uh, to then sell the house. So we had to put a lien, and you know we got a letter from the lawyer saying, hey. That this can you take care of it? So, so you get paid. Yeah. So, work. It's a way to take notes. Talk about paper list. You love that. You can grab. You can quick sheet, and it writes so well. I'm really picky on writing, mm -hmm. so I like to write with a pencil. So it's it's awesome. It's easy to keep track of. You can create folders. Um, yeah, I've seen it. I actually was considering buying it because I, I do notes all the time. But you know what I do? I just um, in my phone. This is my notes. Like <laughs> crazy. Never stops. Like everything I ever see. Like if I have any idea, like for the video. Yep. Yeah. You have a folder. Yeah. These are three, four things that are responsibly for general manager and we believe into create opportunities, manage money, protect reputation, and set expectations. That's four things that he has got to focus on when he starts. Uh, we get distracted sometimes on what you're supposed to be focusing on. We talk about one thing, focus on the roof, and but as a GM, that's the four things that my four, my three things what I'm responsible for is create an environment for the team, tools to succeed, and leadership for everybody. Um, that's what I'm focused on constantly. Thank you for watching this amazing company tour. I know you guys enjoyed it. Give it a like if you did. Comment something below, and if you're new here. 
you probably don't know that our company tours on YouTube are a little bit shorter. We have exclusive content available only to roofing-school.com students. The reason is very simple. We don't want to educate competitors of those companies who open doors to roofing insights. We respect them and all the secrets that they share. So Monarch Roofing actually shared quite a few very important marketing tricks, what they do, like I don't call them secrets, but we did talk about marketing. We did talk about what they do to get leads, what they do different. Uh, they opened even their school university for us. And uh, to watch full 32 minute version of this video, you have to go to roofing-school.com. We want to track who watching that. Uh, and it's just not for public information. If you like and want to see more company tours, please give it a like. Subscribe to the channel if you're new here. I'll see you guys in the next video.